I wanna show you a scam that's going on with crypto scammers pretending to be Robinhood customer support. You either receive an email or call them up from a fake support app. Thank you for calling Robinhood. They're gonna pretend to be the good guys. You either have fraudulent activity on your account or somebody's trying to hack you. Either way, their game plan is to gain access to your phone or your computer create new accounts, and steal all of your money. I called these guys so that you can see their routine and hopefully avoid being scammed. I told you, sir, I told you that you're not supposed to talk to me in between when I'm speaking, all right? They had me write down... Uh, I know uh, the plan. I know the plan. I want to talk to Mike. Jolly Cotto. He's busy fucking your mom. Come on, Jay. Also, I love doing scammer versus scammer. That's where I drop clues in my story that the scammer is obviously aware of. So, here's the call with the scammers. Thank you for calling Robinhood. You're speaking with Mark. I can help you. Hi, Mike. Um, I'm trying to set up a Robinhood account. My Bank of America says that maybe there's some type of transaction. I don't know if it is or not. And uh, are you eating uh -huh. something? I'm having my breakfast, sir. Oh, okay. What are you having? <laughs> a little sandwiches, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> a cucumber sandwich with cream cheese. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got it. Okay. I'm trying to find someone technical uh -huh. enough to tell me what's going on on my computer when I'm trying to access this. Because my computer seems to be acting a jeep on me, and it's, it's uh, I don't know, It's sometimes it'll shuru, sometimes it'll... Like what happened it, exactly it, in your Robinhood? It'll shuru, Hood. it'll shuru, no it'll katam, shuru, katam, so... Like what happened exactly with your Robinhood? Well, I don't know if I even have an account, so I was trying to use it on my desktop, and I was uh -huh. searching for support. I found your website. Because uh, I'm trying to all surprise right. my wife with a Robin Hood account because I'm, you know, don't they do all those, the, the Doji coin and the, all of that? Yes, sir. A gentleman had reached out to my wife on Instagram that um, we could triple our earnings if we just bought uh, the Doji coin. But I haven't seen any returns. I put in $5,000 or at least what I thought it was to buy the first part. Okay. What other app you have downloaded it into your phone or into your computer? What are, that for the gentleman said to you, correct? Yeah. Like, well, did you download me, it? Coin, did, yeah, he had me go to yeah. a website, Dogecoin to the Moon forty three dot us, and it's it's not working anymore. But he had me put in a username and a password for Robinhood, and now I can't even seem to access Robinhood. I don't even know if I have an account. Like, do you have an account with Coinbase? Coin, what coin what? Coinbase. I did get no an problem. email from crypto. Coinbase and it says, do you accept? It said, welcome to your new account, but I didn't make that. So I think it might have been some type of, of scam. So I just deleted it. Okay. Sir, and how much you are planning to invest in Dogecoin? Well, I put in 5000 already. I sent a check to the gentleman. Uh, he lives in California. He also had me get out cash. Um, I'm supposed to be sending that to Ohio, to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, my first 50000 Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Can I have your name? My name is Wilson Carter. Sir, you are not supposed to transfer fifty thousand dollars to somebody who, who got you on Instagram, okay, and asking you for the money. I was trying to do um, four hundred thousand, but they said the starting investment is fifty thousand. They said it's called a compounding, a compounding investment. Once I do the initial fifty, and then after it makes ten percent, I need to put in all. He said put in all your cards on the table. So I was going to put in the rest of the four hundred thousand. Can you please stop talking to him? Oh, I mean, he's made a lot of people very rich. No company asks you for the $50,000 to be deposited into your account. Well, he says it takes a little bit of time, but have now. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on this going no. to the moon that he said. Let me tell you one thing, okay, Mr. Wilson? Your name is Wilson Carter, correct? Yeah, how did you know? You just told me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I I forgot about that. You want to invest in Robinhood and Dogecoin, correct? Well, I want to invest in the Dogecoin because it's a, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a cryptocurrency where I can, it's... I it's, know about it, sir. Okay. Do you have a computer handy with you right now? Uh, yeah, I can show you where the gentleman did the uh, transaction. No problem, no problem. Don't do that, okay? Open up a new window, okay? Type it over there. That is desktophelp.live. Okay, well, let, I have to go to my, my bank really fast to make sure, um, so I can kind of tell you the story. The gentleman on the 31st, he had me send the first check. I had to do overnight 
overnight delivery to California. Uh-huh. Okay. I just got out the next payment, the 50000 that's supposed to go into my account. And I'm supposed to be sending the 50000 cash. Listen to me very carefully, okay? I work for Robinhood for like past three years now, okay? Now listen to me very carefully. Do not speak in between me, all right? Let's suppose you work for Bank of America or you work for Robinhood. Oh, I don't work. I'm retired. I don't work for anyone right now. I'm retired. No. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wilson. You need to understand my point of concern, okay? Let's suppose you work for Robinhood, okay? And I'm the customer, all right? Okay. Did you tell anybody to transfer the $50,000 in the box overnight delivery? Have you ever heard about this thing in your life? Tell me. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I was a little bit nervous about it, but they had a customer that called me and said that they're a very reputable company. I was trying to find stuff on their company. Show me the company. All right, show me the company. Not, this guy can't why is reach. it not working anymore? Let me tell you one thing, Mr. Wilson, okay? This is okay. all planned, okay? They created a wrong website for you, okay? okay? Just to get you in the portal. They want to transfer the $5,000, which you have done. Now, they're asking you for $50,000, correct? And okay. after $50,000, they're asking you for $400,000. How you will have the $400,000? You don't have the money in your bank for $400,000. Do you have $400,000 or not? Tell me. Yes. You have it? Yes. Like how you will transfer that money to them? Well, um, just the same way. There's um, the 50000 is the initial investment. The, Can I the tell rest you of it's going to be wait, actually, wait, wait. Okay, it's a okay. safety deposit Let box. Me tell you. There's a safety deposit Let box me tell in you. Texas. Okay. That is I told to... you, sir, I told you that you're not supposed to talk to me in between when I'm speaking, all right? Okay. Where is the 50000 So it's it's in it's inside of a book. I had to open up each page. That's what they had me do it. And then I wrapped it with aluminum foil. And then I wrapped that with uh, bubble wrap. And then I've got it inside of a FedEx box. I'm supposed to be sending that FedEx. to... They yeah, are, they, yeah they, they, are, they are asking you through FedEx, correct? So it's a FedEx delivery which you are doing right now, correct, sir? Yeah, and they had me write down... Uh, I know uh, the plan. I know the plan. Listen to me, okay? You can take... If, if you are too much rich, then take a chance of $50,000. How old are you? Can I ask you the how old I'm are 81. you? 81. Like, they're taking an advantage of it. You you work so hard for the country to make money. Now, they're taking a chances on you. If you are too rich to handle your $50,000 to be lost, you can take a chance. You can have my words on it. But after one or two days, you will be thankful to me. That thanks, Mark. You are the right person who saved me, you know. I can save this money, $50,000, right now for you if you will open up a new coin based account okay no I, that makes sense okay can you please do one thing can you please go ahead and log in into your bank again mike let me ask you this you said i need to send my cash to the wallet what wallet sure i i didn't did i say you wallet hold on i just do got you a have text. a smartphone with you sir i just got a text do hold you on. have a smartphone hold on one second this is mike's boss Send to this wallet ASAP. Okay, yeah, I just got the text from your boss about the wallet. Sorry, what? Your boss just sent me a text message, and he said that... My I, boss sent yeah, you a text message? He said that, hi, this is... Who is my boss? Yeah, this is James Taylor with uh, Robin Hood app. Please send immediately Mike's money to this wallet address, and then there's like a bunch of numbers and characters. Someone's scrolling on my computer now. Someone's scrolling. This is up. me, sir. This is me. Oh, okay. This is me, okay? Well, how, why are you scrolling through all my transactions? This is a fake account. This is a fake. Everything is fake, you know? Like, why do you do so? Why, why do you do, do this kind of thing? Why did I do it? Because I wanted to show everyone how, what your process is. I wanted to show everyone that what you're going to do is pretend to be Robin Hood, and then you're going to connect to their phone or their computer. You're going to set up an account, and then you're going to send a transaction straight to you. That's what you're going to do. And I'm also going to tell them that you're going to pretend like you were saving somebody because I get emails all the time from people from fake support like you that run Robinhood and Coinbase and all of those wallets out there. And then what you do is pretend to help them, but you really bilk them for a bunch of money. And it's really sickening to me. And it's actually kind of crazy as well how you were starting to get really annoyed with me and talking down to me and getting angry. 
But at the end of the day, you were going to try to steal money as much as you could. You wanted me to go create a Coinbase account. I could tell you were starting to salivate over that. And you were going to have me create that account. You were going to change the passwords, I'm sure. And then you were going to use that uh, to do money laundering as well. I've seen it before. I've seen it multiple times. There's people that are out there that are getting all of their money stolen from people like you. And it's sickening to me. So that's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. Do you have anything to say about that? You can take care of yourself, right? Do you have anything to say? You can take care of yourself, motherfucker. Oh, oh so you're mad? Beta? You're mad at being a little beta? Okay, so here, here's the thing I want to say really quickly. These are the kinds of scams that are happening. I get email after email after email after email from people that are investing in get rich quick schemes through Bitcoin and all this kind of stuff. And it really saddens me because people, this is worse than a $500 tech support scam. People are transferring $50,000, $400,000, $100,000. They're sending this out to these people through these crypto exchanges or what they're doing too is they're going to fake websites and they're giving their information away. They're creating wallets. They're putting money in. They're sending uh, to fake accounts. Like there is no get rich quick scheme on Bitcoin and Coinbase and all this stuff. There's none of that. There's no way you're just going to go put in uh, half of your money or all of your money and make a bunch of money. And then what happens is, oh, you made uh, 20%. Here's your returns. You need to add more in to make more money. Oh no, you need to add more in. And then you have to pay money to get it all out. That's not how it works, people. So I wanted to show people how that kind of stuff works. They wanted access. They wanted to create accounts. They want to steal money from you. So I'm calling that kid back, by the way. My name is Kevin. How may I help you? Uh, hi, Kevin. I was on with Mike. Um, we got disconnected there. Can I speak with him, please? Can you please help me with your name? Yeah, um, it's Wilson Carter. Uh, actually, Mike is busy f***ing your mom. Oh, yeah? Is he pissed? Because his real name is Randy? Come on, Jaldi Kato, let me talk with him. Come on, Ula Kapata, I want to talk to him. You guys back in the oh. office today? Running the, yeah. the night process? Yeah. yeah, I know. I know a lot yeah. more, buddy. I want to talk to Mike. Jaldi Kato. He's busy f***ing your mom. Come on, Jaldi Kato. That's all you got? Tell me about Kato, man. Man! So, uh, here's the other thing. I, I'm pretty sure that these guys are in... I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure these guys are back in Genesis because they're running the same... Uh, same website as the Amazon scammers were. So they're back and they have different groups. So this is just one of their scams is this uh, Robin Hood stuff. I'm going to call him back from another number. Thank you for calling Robin Hood. You're speaking with Mark. How can I help you? Hey, Mark, it's Pierogi again. I was asking for you, but uh, your colleague would not talk to me because he's a beta. I Wilson, wanted to talk Wilson with you. Carter? Hey, yeah, talk to me. Jody Cotto. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you hang up on me? Why'd you, why'd you hang up on me, Beta? Huh? They don't like me. So for those of you that don't know Hindi stuff, Beta means sun. But also if you call, like, you're like, oh, I'm an alpha because they want to be alphas in their culture. But you call them a Beta. They don't like that. But also Beta means sun. I was also calling him Randy, which is, he's not very, very happy with that. Scammers are back. I told y'all they'd be back. I told people that they're going to come back the 4th. I told everyone they're coming back the 4th, and here we are on the 4th. They're here. Our insiders told us that people are going to be back on the 4th. So here we are.